Christ will give. And as a newborn babe in Christ, he's just begun to live. I am the resurrection life. The Savior one day said, and he believing in my word shall live the though he be dead. In that well-known Apostle Paul and Philip made plain, for me to live in Jesus Christ, for me to die is gain. So when the blood of Christ, our Lord, redeems the soul from sin, every day is Easter, for Jesus lies with it. to the street. They put a crowny thorn on his head. They made Jesus carry a big wooden cross to a near hill in town. And they put Jesus on the cross. After hours in the hot sun, Jesus died. His body was taken down and placed in a rocky tomb. The tomb was sealed with a large stone. Three days later, some women, some women visited the tomb. It was open and Jesus' body was gone. An angel spoke to the women. Jesus has risen from the dead yes. it said later jesus came to his friends i am leaving to be with god keep spreading my word he said then he disappeared jesus the son of God gave his life for us and rose from the dead mm -hmm. to set us free from our sins. He made a great sacrifice Amen. for Amen. us because he loved us so much. We should love him so much. We ought to want to live for him and obey him. Okay. We should also love one another. Yes. People will know that God will love you when we show love for each other. God will pick you up, yes, he will. Yes, he will. turn you around, yes, he will. and put your feet on solid ground. Yes, When Jesus rose on the third day, all power was in his hand. Matthew 28, 18 says, And Jesus came and spake unto me, spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. So let's keep the Easter of the Easter story. Story. The Easter story. 
in our hearts. Just not today. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And a child shall leave them. Hallelujah. Everybody matters. Praise the Lord.
to preach behind the little bishop. I was looking like he didn't say about all that needs to be said. But God. Amen. This day is set aside. perfect than God himself. Amen. you got to understand that Jesus is part of that triune, as I'm called it, the Trinity. That's Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? My, which one of my friends? He ain't in here today. Talk about CJ. CJ came uh, a while back and asked me, amen, to, to borrow a t-shirt. I got a thousand of them. But I ain't lending my t-shirt. I told T.J. if you want a t-shirt, I can give you one. But I ain't going to put on nothing you had on. You understand me? That's just Calvin Thomas. You know? But God, God put on the light. 
likeness of sinful flesh. In other words, he bore the burdens of our sin. Now, some of us, I know you're sanctified, fire baptized, Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking, and foot stomping in here. And then you've got your own pathway to heaven. You understand me? Some of us in here won't give a quicker crab a crutch. Amen. But God. He had to come in the nature of a man. And look at him. Baby, he had to feel everything that you feel. Yes. He had to feel everything that you feel. I know it might sound vulgar to some of y'all, but the truth is the truth. Look here, Teresa. When them women rushed up on Jesus, on. Amen, he got an erection. I don't care what nobody else. If he felt what I felt, I know that happened to him. But he would stood the test. Yes. You understand me? And he gave it in no credence, amen, to the enemy. The Bible teaches us, give the devil no place. Amen. Give the devil no place. And what that means, amen, you don't stand in the territory of the enemy and expect to be made whole. Amen. Because some of you are going to worship against you. I'll help me up here, Jesus. I know some of you are still going to the club. I know some of you all are still flipping and dipping and dropping it like it's on ninjas. But God, Jesus went through everything germane to a man, but he was the perfect sacrifice. He was without sin. So God gave his son, and the son gave his life. Now we need to understand something, Charlie. When God spoke the words, let there be, and thus there is, Amen. Everything, amen, that you feel was already there and he took care. Amen. For me to stand up here <coughs> preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and to say that I don't feel like touching somebody. You understand me? And I ain't just talking about shaking your hand. I feel like knocking some people out sometimes. You know, but when you have been blood washed, listen to me. I'm not talking about being whitewashed. When you have been blood washed with the blood of the Lamb sacrificed, amen, from the foundation of Earl, he makes a difference. You know, I, 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 I said time and time again, not to be facetious or redundant, but uh, I've been saved for about 40 years. I ain't forgot how to cuss here, but I ain't forgot how to cuss, but I don't cuss. Because I got something on the inside that shows up on the outside. Yeah. And because of the God of heaven, now, what a change that made in my life. Amen. So this God, amen, I'm talking about Jesus Christ and the flesh. He allowed his people to not just crucify him on Calvary's cross. They crucified him, evangelists, with their mouths. Now, I'm not talking about just the Romans of the Egyptians. I'm talking about God's chosen people, Israel. You got to be careful who you're sleeping with. You got to be careful who's pouring into you. You got to be extra careful what you let your uh, children look at on television. You just got to be careful. And you got to know what it is to be blood washed. So Jesus came, amen. To satisfy that. And that's the pity of that once and for all. He doesn't do that. Yeah, we get a $1,500 and max it out on a credit card. And since they don't tell you, they tell you you've got to get $35 a month. That's what you do. And you never will get out of there. You never will get out. But God, He finalized, amen, the sin debt. Now, we. Jesus, Lord, Lord, but there's something about your name. Jesus, Jesus.
not just another, not a gimmick at all. But this is something that stays with you. I was raised up in a house where people, th people thought my mama just put grease on my head every morning. <laughs> Went to school with a greasy forehead every morning. But I'm able to stand here today. I don't know what your need is today. I was up here at the church a little while ago and it just dropped in my spirit. Easter, we need to do this. We got with Evangelist Presley and we got the bottles. If we don't have enough, let us know. We will definitely get more. Um, actually, <laughs> ran into an issue with running out of oil. The oil we can get. We have the vials now. We can do that. So if you didn't get one, if you like one, we think we have some more smaller ones that are still um, available if you don't have one. If you, have, if you know someone that you may want to give this to, take this opportunity to take it also. Because what I want you to do is start anointing not only yourself but everything around you at some point we have to get to realize that the spirits are still fighting with our spirit there is a demonic attack against us and until we realize how to fight back, we're going to always be in a place of oppression. And my Bible tells me that I'm not oppressed, but I'm free. So with this oil, what I want you to do is anoint yourself, anoint, anoint your children, anoint the doorposts of your house. So that everything that enters in and comes out it's going to be covered. Amen. If you're dealing with any medical issues or anything going on, take the time. Pray and anoint yourself. If you know someone that's dealing with any medical issues, anoint them. Pray over them. Let's lift, let's lift those bottles up. Father God, we come before you. First of all, God, we want to say thank you. Thank you for what you did so many years ago for us. God, you didn't take a vacation and take three days off, but God, we understand even in that time that you were in the tomb, you were still working on our behalf. And God, we understand that on that Sunday morning, you got up and you got up with all power in your hands. But now you, God, you even anointed us with that same power. And God, with these vows of oil, God, we want to lift them up and, to, and say to you, God, we give this back to you, that you may bless it so that it may be a blessing in our lives. God, everything we put this oil to, we, God, we expect a, a return on it. God, if it's healing, God, we expect to be made whole. God, if it's our finances, God, we expect money to be done. God, if it's something that we're looking to be found, that is lost. God, we expect those things to happen. Because, God, we understand what the oil can do for us. Now, God, in this hour, we lift this up and we say, God, thank you. Thank you for taking out the time just to come and see about us. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What you say? Oh, Amen. Come on, let's give the word a hand. Let's give the word a hand. We have to contact Sister Josephine in the back. She went over there. Uh, Sister Tabitha. Uh, to the priest, order your dinner.
dinners are ten dollars. Can you buy breakfast for ten dollars? Great. So anyway, the kids, we have something for you. The little kids, we have something for you. We do have baskets and stuff. We also have an Easter egg hunt. So the eggs have been hid uh, outside, and somebody will guide you through that door. Get your picture the Easter egg hunt if you want. If you want your kid to do it. Back through the cabinet door or the kitchen door to pick up the basket. Because each kid has a basket in there. Uh, and I'm thinking that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. We're going to have our benediction by. Is it going to be Bishop BJ or is it going to be. <laughs> okay. And we thank every one of y'all for coming.
Nine out there. Come on. I think that might be it, Soleil. Oh, my feet hurt. I'm finna take these shoes off. BJ, some more eggs around here. Get Melania eggs. Hey, pretty girls, how y'all doing? Let me see this dress. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, say, hey, say. And when I smile at you, oh man, you got She ain't smile, she mean. I want you to be mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's you a, a girl too? Your daddy wants you to be mean, don't you? I don't know why he telling you to smile, even if I'm a female. <laughs> Ooh, so late, yeah. what hey. you got? I'll do that, though. I'll do that. No, no, no. Back to the old one. I guess you just grab yeah, it. No, you're not. Got one right here. Yeah, that's her. Oh, Pretty. What you say? She said, thank you, Sam. You're welcome. You're welcome. And you got a black Barbie. Yeah. What? I wouldn't even want it. Oh, yeah. We got to get him a basket. Where your husband basket at? My basket, baby. Where your husband basket? Your son? Okay, your son. Yeah, he got one. And you're a mom. Come on, girls. Don't open it yet. We're going to open it at home. Hey, duck. Hey, duck. Do the pose you just did. The other one. No, the one with your leg across here. All right, Bishop. There you go. Good. One. Look at Joe. Put your hand on her uh, other shoulder, Q. There you go. One, two, and three. One, two, three. It's so late. Move over this way, so. Right there. Good. And I cross them. There you go. One, two, and three. Yep, yeah. One, two, and three. There y'all go. Good.